Hey everybody and welcome to this video. I'm Minx Laura123. This is going to be a spend the day with me vlog. So I hope you enjoy watching. If you do, please click like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Also, don't forget to smash the notification bell to all notifications. Then you can see when I'm doing live streams and when I've uploaded new videos. Okay, so today is Saturday and the time is nearly half past nine. I've been up about half an hour or so. Um, I just got up, got in the shower. I'm in the middle of drying my hair, but I'm just like, why am I wasting time drying my hair? Because apparently it's going to be really, really heavy rain today. So I'm probably going to get wet anyway. <laughs> I have got an umbrella ready to take out with me because I'm going to go to town soon. Um, but the thing is, when it's a bit windy, which it's supposed to be as well today, windy and rainy, um, do you not find you have like a battle with your umbrella? Or is that just me? Like the umbrella just like blows out and I'm like, oh. And as I'm having that battle, rain falls down on me anyway and I get wet. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Or it goes like inside out on itself. Oh my God, that is one of the most frustrating things, right? When you're walking along with an umbrella, nice, do, 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 do. And then all of a sudden it goes inside out. And just, I must, honestly, I must look such an idiot because I get really irate and stressed with said umbrella. Like, come here, come here, go in. Yeah, it's really embarrassing. Anyway, but yeah, I am going out. Um, as I say, it's supposed to be really bad weather today. And also, I just, you know, I like going out early on the weekend. So it's not as busy as the day goes on. Obviously, it gets busier. Um, I need to go to a few places. Not loads of places, but I just, I need to take my library book back. Um, I need to go to Sainsbury's and get some bits and pieces in there. Um, what else? Oh, post office I've got to go to. So yeah, just a few little, you know, bits and pieces, things to do. And I'm going to get back here, have some breakfast. I mean, I was tempted to have my breakfast now before I went out. But what happens is I end up having my breakfast. And while I'm eating, I'll put something on the TV. And then that's like an hour later, I'm eventually going out. So I'm just like, you know what? Just go out, you know, do what I've got to do and then come back. Then I can watch a show for an hour and eat some breakfast. And then, you know, it's all good. Um, I have got lots of housework to do today. As ever, I have been a very messy pup. Um, I don't know why I'm so untidy, like it's got worse I think, um, anyway, but yeah, a bit of housework to do today, I would like to do some reading, I feel like I haven't really read as much this week, I've just been so tired, um, that I'd go to read and I'm just like, I can't focus properly on the book and stuff and I'm just like, falling asleep holding said book, so, um, yeah, I would like to do some reading and I said to Nathan, maybe instead of me trying to read at night when I'm obviously more tired, might just try and do some reading during the day um so that is the plan i've been really sad actually because i had a whole kind of spell of books that were really really good like one after another five stars and then the last few books that i've tried i've just this has been nothing like i've just not connected to them not enjoyed them and just ended up like giving them up and not like dnfing them not finishing them so yeah i just want the next book to be a really good book i need a good book um, and the lucky thing with me with regards to reading is I do read so many different genres, so I can read a romance, a horror, a thriller, you know, fantasy, and like, it's all good, so I've got more options, I suppose, but I'm just, yeah, I think when I'm in Sainsbury's, I know this is really random and stupid and naughty, because I do have loads of books here to read that I've bought, but when I'm in Sainsbury's, I feel like I want to do like a cover by buy like I want to be drawn to a book they've got a little book section in Sainsbury's and they're quite cheap actually they're cheaper than you know a lot of the other book sh bookshops so I'm going to go in there I'm just going to stand there and look at these books and think is there anything that really like draws me in I don't know. if not as I say I've got loads and loads and loads of books that I can choose from anyway so yeah need to go out get my bits do some housework um, I do want to try and do some filming today as well, but whether that will happen, I don't know. I need to do some editing as well. So a bit of youtube -y stuff is on the horizon. Um, and what I'm after as well, oh, that's where I wanted to go, Hobbycraft. Um, <laughs> basically, me and Nathan yesterday, right, it was so nice. We went to the local art gallery, Beecroft um, Art Gallery. Um, and it's along Victoria Avenue in Southend. Now, it used to be the old library. That's where I used to go as a kid and as, you know, early adult, but... I absolutely love that place. It was it was such a great library. And they closed it down. They moved to the new library, which, yes, it is a lot, lot bigger. But it's part of the university. And I don't know, like, it's just quite loud in there, which for a library, it should be quiet. I don't know. But anyway, anyway, it just... And also, it feels quite clinical in the new library. It's all very, like, white and pristine and clean. And I, 
I, I can't explain it. It just doesn't feel library like. It feels like a university or something. But the old library was all like brown and dark and just felt libraryish and you had to be quiet, you know. But anyway, it's now the Beecroft Art Gallery, which, you know, we go to now and again because they do have some nice art in there. I mean, we do find, I don't know if this is just us, but we do find we prefer the older paintings, like old school art. Um, we're not really into like modern art. I mean, look, some modern art can be really cool. I'm not saying all modern art's boring, but I don't know. Some modern art is really clever, really cool. Like, I love it. Um, but for us, like me and Nathan, we just really prefer those old art, like those old old paintings and the history of them. And just, I don't know, like it's just something that we prefer looking at. So in this um, art gallery, they've got kind of like half modern art. They normally have like a local, a couple of local artists and stuff doing their displays and also the older art so that's what we always sort of stay around those sections more and just look at all the old paintings and that so that was nice however there was this thing where as you go in the door I think they've still got it for the next few months I assume and it's oh sorry it's like a display apparently it was a community thing people could get involved I didn't know about it I would have been involved um and they're like little wooden people people have designed um these like wooden people they're like little I don't know what they're called. I was going to say a peg, but it's not really a peg. You see, it's got like a round bit at the top and then it kind of goes human shape. And basically you can draw on them, you can design them, you can put like make like put wool on there for hair and little outfits and stuff. Or you could just use a Sharpie and draw on them. Um, and basically, yeah, people in the community have done it to represent the diversity in our area. And it is really, honestly, it's really cool. Um, oh my God, we loved it so much. I mean, there's so many to look at, like different faces and different designs and they've got them all. And I was like, oh my God, I need to make, I need to make wooden people. <laughs> so luckily I've got a five pound voucher from Hobbycraft. Um, for some reason on your birthday, you get a five pound gift voucher from Hobbycraft to say happy birthday. Um, I was like, I don't really need any fit arts and crafts until now so I'm going to go in there today um I've looked on the website they have got some so they've got packs of just two of them like two bigger ones or you've got like a family of wooden people that are blank obviously you've got to draw on them so I'm going to go in there and see the site because as much as I think a little family of them would be cute I think the little ones might be more difficult to draw on and stuff and design so I mean I'm not very good at arts and crafts so I think I might just get two packs of the bigger ones but yeah, Nathan said he's going to do one as well. So if I do it today, which I'm going to try to, I'll include it in the vlog. But yeah, I just thought it'd be pretty good, like fun to do. And I think arts and crafts is something I really enjoy. I just don't do enough. And I'm angry with myself because I've got so many different arts and crafts stuff. I've got a big bag of stuff. You know, I was really like into my scrapbooking and then that stopped. I was really into painting stuff and then that stopped. I do have this thing where I get really obsessed with something and then I just I just forget about it or I just don't do it or I've got to be in the mood for it but I know that when I am doing it arts and crafts is like really relaxing it's really fun and I do enjoy it even though I'm really crap at it like I was into my rock painting if you remember that um I think it's because I'm not good at it <laughs> it's like I have all these, all these ideas in my mind of what I want it to look like and it just doesn't end up like that and I'm just like meh but anyway, I'm going to try with these wooden people. I'm going to try. I think it's going to be fun. So I'm going to get a few packs of those today. Um, that'd be fun. Anyway, so I'm going to do that later. Um, we'd like to do a bit Mario Kart because we didn't play yesterday. We do have this thing. Um, if you watch my vlogs a lot, you'll know that we do play Mario Kart a hell of a lot. And that is because, number one, it's the only game I really know how to play. <laughs> on the Switch. Nathan, bless him, he, you know, he tries to like introduce me to different games. I'm like... Yeah, a few of his games I've tried, but I'm just not very good at them. But when it comes to Mario Kart, I know what I'm doing. I know how to play. I know the controller, and you know, so that's why we always play. And plus, to be fair, we really both love it. Like we genuinely both love playing Mario Kart. And every race is different. Every battle is different. You never know what's going to happen. Um, and sometimes, believe it or not, I actually win. Not much, but uh, sometimes. So yeah, a bit Mario Kart later and just chilling. I need to relax. I need to just chill. Uh, without going into too much detail, I have got my well, time of the month. I don't know why. It's embarrassing. It shouldn't bloody be embarrassing. Um, but there it is. I'm still uh, I'll get all embarrassed. So yeah, time of the month. So it's not great. I feel very like, oh. So I don't want to push myself too much. I'm just going to try and take it easy. Um, yesterday I was out pretty much all day walking and on my feet. And I was like, I come home and I was just absolutely shattered and achy. So I'm like, right, today 
yes, I've got to go out. Yes, I've got to do stuff. But I do need to take some time out for myself to just relax um, mentally and physically. Like I just, I need to chill the duck out. <laughs> but anyway, right, I'm going to quickly go and get ready. Um, I'm so tempted to have breakfast, but I'm not going to because it's just going to make it longer till I go out. So I'm just going to quickly get dressed, head to town, um, and uh, you can come with me. Okay, so I'm just going to head into the Victoria Plaza now. I need to go to Poundland. i uh, just been in the library, took my book back and got another two books, which I'll show you when I get home. But for now, into Poundland. Amazing value every day. I know that Nathan's been loving his cold coffees lately, so I've just seen Starbucks Frappuccino Sweet Creamy Coffee, or for the same price, there's this limited edition one, S'mores Chocolate Marshmallow flavour. It sounds a bit sickly, I don't know. I might just get him a little... Oh, no, there's a mocha here as well. Mocha Delight. Now, I know he likes mocha because... That was the first drink we ever had together in Starbucks. I had a cappuccino and he had a mocha. And I might have had a latte, but I know he, he definitely had a mocha. So I'm gonna get him that as a little treat. Gonna get a little uh, pack of these, thin medium bobbles for my hair. I don't know what happens to my hair bands, like they just go missing. Like missing socks, but missing hair bands. <laughs> right, this is embarrassing, but I do need to be in this section. Anyway. Oh, it's got these really cute little Barbie tins. I need some wool, actually. Hmm, they're only a pound, that's quite cheap. <sighs> okay, so I'm just in Sainsbury's carrying a very heavy basket. Why didn't I get a trolley? Because I'm an idiot, that is why. So instead of just pushing around a trolley, no, I'm carrying it all in a heavy basket, which is really not what I need. Oh, I need to get some tissues. No tissues. Ah, oh. oh, okay. All right, just cheap as chips. We don't need no fancy ones. Um, there you go, they'll do, 95p, low price. I do. Right. God, why didn't I get a trolley? Because I'm an idiot. Right. Ugh. Okay. But yeah, I've got a lot of stuff here. Um, so, I uh, just want to get this all done and back home. But yeah, done everything I've needed to do in town. So after this, I can just go back. Of course, there's always time to look at the books. No matter what. Um, <laughs> I'm tired, I'm hungry, it doesn't matter, there's always time to look at the books, right, so let's see if there's anything exciting, that was good, and that was good, I've already read them too, uh, let's have a look, what's this, she started it, one bride, four hens, a deadly secret, uh, anything exciting, oh my god, this book looks and sounds amazing, it's by Carol Kirkwood, it's apparently from the TV, but I've never, never heard of her, I don't recognise her either, um, and this is called Once Upon a Time in Venice. I don't know what it is, but I'm fascinated with Venice. Can one magical city change the destiny? That is such a beautiful cover, like seriously. Right, let's treat myself to this. Now my basket is even heavier. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Nathan's Tiger Loaf Bread. Meat-free sausages, where's the barcode? There we go. Bag of potatoes, some eggs one random loose potato <laughs> okay 2121 that's a random number 2121 okay let's get out of here it is very very busy i don't like it when it's busy <laughs> makes me anxious and just on edge so let's get out of here okay so i'm at home now and i've got some scratch cards for me and nathan today are we having a good scratch we're gonna have a nice good scratch a saturday scratch Ooh, I love a saturday. <laughs> So we've got these little pound ones. They're the good luck scratch cards. We need that, some good, good luck. luck. And the coffee break ones. You know the ones with the little cups yeah. and the different little bits of snack. Salad, cake. Oh, actually it's making me more hungry. <laughs> so yeah, what one do you want? Do you want top you or pick. bottom? No, you, you pick. pick. Top I'll or have, bottom? I'll have top. Right, so you're going to have the top one of that. Yeah. And, and left pick. or right? I'll let you pick left or right. I'll have right. So we'll let you know how we get on. 
Well, we are actually winners. We're actually winners. We both won. Yeah. You won a bit more than me, though. Yeah. So, you got eight pound, is it? Yep, so I got four pound on one ticket and four pound on the other. Well done. Congratulations. Eight pound win for Nathan. And I've got two quid because I've got uh, three horseshoes. But we're still both winners. We're both winners. There we go. <laughs> okay, so the time is now four o'clock and I look a complete mess. Look, I've tied my hair up, but look. Rain damage. <sighs> look at this. You've got rain damage. What's this? The thing is, I took an umbrella, right? I took an umbrella. Because you were very clever. But then on the way back, I didn't put into the equation that yeah, I had two shopping. Yeah, shopping yeah. bags to carry. Couldn't hold an umbrella with that. No. And then she gets absolutely drenched. Hair's a mess. Anyway, um, and I'm sitting in my unicorn nightdress because I'm cool like that. Um, what have we been doing? We watched a couple of episodes. What is this show called we've been watching? Antiques the... Road Trip. Antiques Road Trip. And there's two, what are they, dealers? The antique, antique dealers. Yeah. Yeah. And they do like a mission who like make the most profit. Yeah. And they go around all these different areas. It's like a kind of road trip, but they're looking for yeah. antiques. So we've been watching that. Yeah. Um, also, I had a little sleep because I was just gone. I said, I'm just going to have five minutes, about half an hour or so later. It woke me up. So We've done some housework. Yeah, we've done some housework. We're going to carry on in a bit. Yeah. We've done the kitchen. Yeah. We've done the back room. We just got to tidy around this room, which is mostly my mess. Dun, dun, dun. Um, Nathan has just very kindly also been making me a cup of tea. Mm. I love this mug. Love it. I paid a lot of money you for this did. mug. Do you remember where it's from? Obviously, eBay. But... Alumicrate. Yeah, this mug was from an Alumicrate box that I didn't get. No. But I just literally bought the mug on its own. And I remember trying to bid on it, and it kept going up oh, and up and up on eBay. And I was you like, just, Ugh! You just wanted it. I just wanted it so bad and got it. I can't remember. This is probably the most expensive mug mm. that I've ever paid for. But look at it. It's so cool. I love it. But yeah, you've made a really nice cup of tea. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Mm. I have to make it worse next time. I'm <laughs> asking for one. I think it's because I realised I've not had a cup of tea in like two or three weeks. Yeah, Isn't that I'm mad? Ten ages. Anyway, cup of tea. Um, I've been reading as well. I started my new book. So this is, um, have you ever heard of a Carol Kirkwood? No. Because it says on the back she's a famous, beloved TV presenter, but I've never... Not from anything I've ever seen. Where's her face? Have you seen her? Have you seen this woman? No. No. Nah. It says on the back she's on BBC Breakfast. Oh, I don't really watch BBC Breakfast. No. I watch ITV. Yeah. Uh, and Wimbledon Fortnight, which I don't really watch. No. And she's been on Strictly Come Dancing, which I also don't watch. Know. Maybe that's why I don't know that's her. Why we don't know. But this, yeah, this is called Once Upon a Time in Venice. Um, can one magical city change their destiny? I am obsessed with all things Venice. You love Venice. I think the aesthetic of Venice is so nice. Mm. Like just the water. It just looks like a really romantic, beautiful mm. place. Mm. I don't know. I think it's like a weird obsession with Venice. Well, it is full of tourists. Yeah. It's like Ram. Yeah, I so bet it's really hard to get in. People not to go there. Yeah. The Italian government said stop coming. Because it's going it. to ruin the, you know, if you're a local stop in that it. area, yeah. it's, you know. Then I'll stop it. Go on. So, I'll tell you what it's about quick. Are you excited to find out? Oh, I am. No, you're not. I need a nap. <laughs> you need a sleep. Welcome to Venice, the fairy tale city, see? Where canals flow into hidden shadows and forbidden secrets whisper behind the masks. The Masked Stranger. When Gina Bellini meets a figure at the Venice oh, see, at the Venice Carnival. Yeah. Love carnivals. Yeah. Uh, their chemistry is unforgettable before he vanishes into the night. Dun, dun, dun. It's always bad when you meet this beautiful stranger and they just vanish into the night. The Hollywood Legend. Personal assistant, Issy, not Issy, Izzy, 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 Izzy Roberts is on location with Tinseltown's biggest star, Will he discover her shocking lies? Dun, dun, dun. And then the ultimate diva. That's me. Yes. Opera sensation. No, it's not me. Opera sensation. Luisa de Santes has the world at her feet. But how far will she go to get what she wants? Dun, dun, dun. 
As their fates collide in the most beautiful city on earth, will dangerous secrets dest destroy their dreams? I bet that does sound that really man good. In the mask is the celebrity. What do you mean, the man? Yeah, in the the knows, first one. Yeah, that she says she makes the mysterious man. Well, yeah, their stories all yeah. mix up. So the mysterious man is mm. a celebrity. Ah, uh, yeah, it could be. Yeah, that's why he's, he vanishes. Yeah. The masked stranger, the Hollywood legend, and the ultimate diva. Yeah. I think this sounds really good. I've not heard of it until I saw it in yeah. Sainsbury's the other day. And I, I was like, mm, should I buy it? And I didn't. And then I thought, no, I'll yeah, buy it. Right. Sorry, right. there it is. Um, but so far, so good. I'm quite enjoying it. Yeah. But there's no time to read now because we do have to carry on with that housework. Okay. Then you can read. Then I can read. And guess what we're doing later? Woo! Mario Kart. Well, apart from Mario Kart, we're going to be making Pick some... People. some Wooden people. Poles, yeah, wooden poles. Yeah, yeah. I'm quite excited. I want to wait. No, we only have got one hair colour. Yeah, I've only got one. So I've got some wool in Poundland, black wool. Um, I was going to look in Obicraft for some coloured wool for their yeah. hair. Yeah. But I just, I just couldn't be bothered. I'd all be yeah. shopping. It was yeah. raining. I was like, yeah, I'll leave it. Yeah. So, so they're all going to have black hair for now. Well, we don't have to do them all today. We could just yeah. do one. Yeah. I'm going to do one of my mum and one of me, and you can do one. What are you doing? I don't know yet. Well, they've got to have black hair. Yeah. Whoever it is. Dracula. You should do one of you. Why me? Short hair. Why? Why not? I'm going to do one of me and my mum. Yeah. So I've got some pens as well. Yes. So you can just draw on them. Mm -hmm. Like they did in the mm. art gallery. God, this is, I don't know if this is going to look good or not. I'm yeah, not very good at art. That. Good, the Probably not. They were brilliant. If I remember when I made it in this video, at the end I'll add the pictures on that I took at the gallery. If I don't remember, I'm sorry, but honestly, look on my social media, I put the pictures on there. But it was just so cool. It yeah. represented diversity in the area. There's all different characters. Oh, it was so good. And ours are not going to look anything like it. Probably not. But I am good at drawing faces. Yeah. I think it could be all right. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Keep watching. <laughs> anyway, for now, I'm yeah, I'm just gonna get on with the housework. Let's do yeah. This. Come on, come on. Okay, so Saturday night, me and Nathan are being really wild. Wild party time. <laughs> Just think, when we were younger, Saturday party. night, partying, clubbing, party. pubbing, and now we are doing this. Decorate your own wooden figures. <laughs> Arts and crafts, Arts baby. And crafts. So we've got these wooden figures. So I assume, without being sexist and all that, this is the woman, because the shape of the dress, and that is the man. Yes. Would you agree? I would agree. Um, so I've got two packs of the bigger ones, and then I've got, look, it's like a family, two, the little babies. Two adults and the babies. They're very cute. Um, and also I've got these um, big pens, like big kids, So and they're quite fine-tipped ones. They're like felt-tipped pens. But really fine. Yeah. So we'll see how these come out. Let's do it. <laughs> so, this is our, this is our attempt. This is our so, attempt at um, wooden people. This one here? Yes. Is you. That's me. No, it's you. It's me. It it's the you. only reason it's you. It's me. No, it is you. And I'll describe my one. Obviously, black hair. Yep. A bit of blue eyeshadow. Yep. Extra thick, long mascara. Yes. And bright red lips. Yep. Clearly, it's always going about being Jewish. Star of David Necklace. And with a book. A. And because I'm a bookworm and proud. A book. Yeah. And that's just and me. And that's me. <laughs> That's <laughs> just me. I've got a bit of stubble. Yeah, a bit of stubble. I wondered what. I thought you'd smudged yeah. it, and then you were like, no, that's, that's stubble. That's the stubble. Beard. That's my uh, hair. Yep. And I've got some clothes on. You're so. smiling. I'm smiling. Have you got arms? Yeah. I oh, know you have got arms, yeah. Mine are there. The thing is, though, I think I've only given myself four fingers on one of them. Yeah, that hand's only got four. Yeah. Look. One, two. <laughs> oh, no, I forgot them. That one's got five. <laughs> Uh, so even in wooden form, you're a mutant. Oh God! Oh, it's yeah. I mean, what do you reckon? 
They could have come out worse. I think they're all right, you know. You can tell they're us. Exactly. I did want to put the black wool on her hair. Yeah. But I need to find my PVA glue and I yeah, don't know where it is. It's we'll got to be it in that craft we'll dig it out. somewhere. And then you can add some woolly hair. I can just add the hair on it and it wouldn't yeah. matter because that that would just be like underneath anyway. Yeah, exactly. So that's fine. But so far, that's our attempt. Yeah. And we've still um, got these two left, the big ones. Yeah. I'm going to make one as my mum. Yep. Who's going to be the other one then? I don't know. Your dad? My dad. Oh, I just dropped a pen. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Because we'll have one big one left, yeah. and oh no, and also the other ones. Yeah. Who's it going to be? Who's who's his best? Vote in the comments. Who's, who's looks his more best? like the actual person they're based on? <laughs> I think mine. I think mine. Because you haven't actually got makeup on. No, but I used to wear no, blue eyeshadow. Now. No. No. No, yeah, but you don't walk around with your arms like that. Well, do you? <laughs> you haven't got four fingers. <laughs> yeah. At least mine's got the right amount. I'm sorry. <laughs> that is true, yeah. <laughs> you ain't got no eyeballs. That is the eyeball. No, I've got an actual... You've just got, like, yeah, green bits. My eyes aren't black around the outside. <laughs> no, but you've got no eyeball thing. That is. It's, it's, you can't see it because it's skin coloured. Mm. I've got eyeliner on and thick. Yeah. God. I did have red nails, but. It just looks like you've killed someone, like you're. <laughs> it looks like I've just got blood fingers. Oh, God. Well, there's our attempt. But you know what? It's really relaxing, very fun. It was fun. Couple time. Yeah. On a Saturday. <laughs> On a Saturday night, <laughs> just walking away. <laughs> oh, God. And that's that. Oh, man. The time is nearly nine o'clock, and we're just about to play a bit of Mario Kart on the Switch. Uh, the Switch is in here, by the way, in this uh, really cool Pikachu Pokemon Switch case. Um, I have got this drink which I love, and it is Dr. Pepper Zero, or Zero, as it's called, Zero, uh, Zero Sugar, Extra, ooh, <laughs> I like this, obviously my favourite drink is Pepsi Max, but I do really like the Dr. Pepper Zero as well. Okay, so I've just turned my laptop on, and I'm going to do my editing now, and also go on YouTube, and just kind of reply to my comments that I've got on videos, I'm a little bit behind with that kind of stuff so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm so tired <laughs> um I've been reading for absolutely ages sorry Ooh, yeah um I'm really enjoying the book so good I'm on like page 110 already like it's mad um Nathan's over there at the table <laughs> he's doing his painting um, his Warhammer painting. He's been really getting into that recently again. Goes through stages with his Warhammer. Um, but yeah, he's been doing his um, Warhammer painting. He's doing some like really cool scenery tonight. So yeah, I'm just absolutely shattered. So I think I'm going to try and read a little bit more. But if I can't, I'm just going to just have a little, a little nap on the sofa. I could just go to bed, but I don't know why. I really enjoy just like having a little nap on the sofa. Like I think it's because the sofa's so comfortable. Um, and then going to bed. I know it's weird, but there we go. But anyway, so thank you for watching. And don't forget, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. That'd be great. Go check out. Oh, God, so check out my other channel. Um, all the links down below. I'm too tired to go into it all. You know. All my social media and my other channel links down below. Alright everyone, night night. Bye bye.